Is it possible to pick up a girl while literally standing still? Yes, I mean, is it possible to pick up a girl without moving at all? In today's video, you are about to find out. If you're new here, I am on a mission to successfully approach and secure the contact info of 30 girls over the course of 30 days, and I'm documenting the entire journey on this YouTube channel for the entire month of January in the hopes that I can inspire confidence in you to go out there and spark connections with women in the real world and start building real life relationships relationships with real life women. My goal for 2024 is to make approaching great again. So far, we've picked up girls while jogging. We've picked up two girls in one day. We've picked up girls at the airport. We've picked up girls in under 60 seconds. And we even picked up girls using Andrew Tate's pickup line. This is day 12 of the revolution. Another day, another approach. I already see Armin got the envelope. I'm honestly starting to get nervous each day with these challenges because we've done a lot of the easier ones first. And the hardest one so far has been the airport. Five minutes or less was actually really difficult. And those are the first two days. So for those of you who don't know, I do know what most of the challenges are because I came up with the idea before we started the 30 days. But what I don't know is on which day I will be doing each challenge. That is up to our man, my videographer, to decide. And that is why we are about to find out which one it is. And I'm very nervous. Fuck! I really, really was not looking forward to this one. Today's challenge is picking up girls while standing still. The rules are you get three locations and you only get 10 minutes in each location. And you can only take three steps to execute the approach. This one's hard because so much of your success rate in determining whether or not the girl is gonna respond and stop and talk to you is whether or not you can get in front of her and get her attention in time without you know getting too close and invading her personal space and fucking harassing her. And the problem is if you can't get her attention, if you're only getting her attention at the last second, she's just going to keep walking and blow right past you. So it's really a matter of getting her attention and initiating the interaction at a safe and comfortable distance where she can feel comfortable. She feels prepared and she's like, okay, what does this guy want? And then that's where you run your magic. So this is definitely, I know I've, I've been saying this a couple times. This is definitely the hardest challenge and I'm not excited for it. What do you think the likelihood is that we can do this one? Uh, I think you can do it. You think so? Yeah. How many locations do you think it's gonna take? It might take all three. Let's go outside and let's do it. Okay, so I'm thinking for my first location, we simply just go to the mall and we stand outside of the Zara. There's usually a lot of girls going in and out of the Zara. So I'm thinking if I just stand there and I pick the right spot, we can basically spawn camp. <laughs> we can spawn camp where all, where all the girls are gonna be and hopefully make it past the first 10 minutes. For the second location, I'm gonna put myself on the street, but I'm gonna put myself on the street right outside of where the mall is. The reason for this yeah. is that it exposes me to all the street traffic, but it also exposes me to people going in and out of the mall. And then for the third location, I'm thinking I stand right in the middle of the city center on a corner and I just stand right in the middle <laughs> and pray to God and hope for the best. This is honestly the challenge I have the least amount of faith in. So we will see, we will see how it goes. Fuck, I'm honestly like really nervous. It's also late, so it's really not a good time. I don't even know if there's any people in the mall, so let's find out. But deal's a deal. Let's start the timer. Look at slow. I'm like afraid to take a step. So far I've seen two and we're married as if they came of either way. So, not seeing much so far. Oh, I see two girls, but they just turned the corner. Of their God damn it. Eight minutes, 12 seconds. Eight minutes, 12 seconds. Law is literally something. Law is literally something. Act natural. Let's not act like my feet are blue to the floor. Eight. Might see something. Let's see. She's walking the other direction. She's <laughs> hilarious. Wow. This must be what it feels like to be the average guy who's too afraid to approach a girl who's stuck, a passenger, watching all of the women he's interested in and could potentially spark a connection, but unable to physically move and put himself in that position. A very interesting experience. This is awful. This is a terrible challenge. I need to have like a sign, a sign that says, please walk this way. <laughs> oh my God. This is so bad. This is a physical embodiment of what you metaphorically uh, feel at home. Every time you see a woman that you'd like to make a connection with, but you are too afraid and in your head to do it. It is the equivalent of you literally staying stuck to the floor, doing nothing, unable to pursue what you're waiting for. 
the next time you see that girl that you want to spark a connection with, that you'd like to meet, I want you to imagine me standing here, stuck to the floor, looking like an idiot, because that's what you look like. I like your pants, by the way. I'm literally just gonna start waving. <laughs> Nobody talk to you. That is it. Literally, as soon as we start going down the escalator, 30 seconds after we stop, the girl, like, two, another, two girls, black, run past me. Where I was literally standing for the last 10 minutes. I give up. Oh. All right, so we're at the next location. We're gonna be standing right across there. Oh, it's not fun, but here we go. Now that I think about it, this is literally what a prostitute does. They just stand <laughs> on the side of the street. This is a hard profession. This is a very hard job. This is one of the most boring challenges because I literally am powerless. I can't do anything. Eight minutes, 30 seconds. I literally walk. I would, that would have been three steps. I would have had to hop in to get to this girl. When it comes time to the approach, I'm gonna be like, oh, one of these. Oh my God, so great. I may just have to accept that this challenge is going to be a thing. Made it two weeks. Whoop. Oh my God. I literally took the boat and walked by it again. The break. Oh, please tell me she's gonna cross. Excuse me. I like your outfit. You look very nice today. Oh my god. You should just walk over and hug her boyfriend. I, I literally just complimented her and further watch. <laughs> and I'm standing here so I can't move. One minute thirty-five seconds. This girl is like far out, but I only have fifty-seven seconds left. I can't uh oh, she's crossing the street anyways. Oh nope, she's coming this one. Oh, now she's crossing the fuck. Yeah, it's cook, bro. Two seconds. Oh, and oh my dude, literally, are you kidding me? There's like three hot girls walking out of the street. And you can't make this up, bro. Holy shit. God damn it. What are you feeling right now? I don't even want to talk about it, bro. I'm very, very into it right now. Do you think you can get this done? I have no idea, to be honest. I have no idea anymore. So we're gonna stand across the street at the crosswalk. The thinking behind the crosswalk is that they have to walk by you if you position yourself correctly. So it's the only way they do, what they do, what they do, what they do, what they do. We're good, bro. We're good. We really try to record people, though. We're not recording people. Um, I hope you don't record me. Don't worry about it, bro. Uh, I ain't gonna worry about shit. This is my mother's city. What's wrong with you? Now, what are you motherfucker? I killed you, motherfucker. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, I like how y'all be talking, man. Go to the hood and do that shit. One y'all motherfuckers come over there. Soft ass motherfucker. I can't wait till my homie get out of prison, man. Crack on your feet all you want to. Okay, alright. Um, yeah. You got a slick ass mouth, man. Alright, so let's. I'm gonna take that camera, bro. Look at how the pistol on Let's cross the street. Let's go there. You're recording still? <laughs> I don't know how much we all have that on footage, but it was obviously not safe to film there. So, moving locations, moving to a better spot, and we have to start the timer there. All right, we are starting the timer now. Literally, we've tried filming location number three and setting a timer. This is the third time that's fucking happened that someone just interrupts or presses our man behind the camera and I, I'm just not gonna put him in a bad position. So we're gonna have to redo location number three. Okay, so it's finally safe to film. There's no more crazy people. We took a break. Obviously, for obvious reasons, I don't want Bob man to get pressed by a million dudes. So here's the timer. I already started it. Get in position, and tear is gonna be my spot. I'm gonna be doing a lot of these little spins. I gotta choose my three steps wisely. If I step and I get rejected, it's not gonna apply. Then all my steps are done. Absolutely. 
Wow. Every time a girl walks by, there's someone else in the way, and since I can't, I can only collect my steps carefully, I get I get screwed. So I can't get in front. Seven minutes. Except for a big fan of YouTube. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. All right. It's always nice for fans to say hi. If you see me one day, please say hi. Five minutes. Five minutes and seconds. You guys are the best dressed people I've oh, seen. Oh, you're so nice, Theo. Right. Where are you headed? Huh? Where are you headed? Um, we're just headed to the shopping. Have fun. That was one step. That would have worked a lot better if I could have gotten in front of them earlier. There goes one step. I shouldn't just called them over, but I didn't think fast enough because I'm so focused on not moving. Yeah, I'm gonna need to literally call it over to me. Just not a great ass type of interaction. This is the guy from the day one video who was emoting on me. Alright, turn it this way. Two minutes, 42 seconds. One minute. Alright, this is officially the worst challenge ever. We did not complete the challenge. Pretty much a failure. I'll stand here for another three minutes and see if I can make something happen. Excuse me. You are the best dressed person I've seen <laughs> all night. Look at him. So this is an interesting situation. Literally, as I was standing getting ready to record the challenge and start the 10 minute timer, a girl approaches me on behalf of her friend and says, hey, my friend thought you were cute. She wanted to say hi, but she is shot. And I'll let you see how the rest of it plays out. Hi, what's up? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I saw you from afar. I saw you from afar. Yeah, we waved at you. I tried waving back, but- <laughs> Sorry, you left. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Here, we're the cruise. Yeah, yeah, let's go off to the side. <laughs> I just did it for my That's okay. <laughs> I felt a little shy. When do you guys have to go back? Now, it's a bit of a long clip, but long story short, she asked me for my Instagram and I gave it to her. So although I didn't complete the challenge, I think the real lesson and takeaway here is that simply just putting yourself out there, getting off your ass, getting out of the 2D, the virtual world, and putting yourself out there into the physical world can result in you getting some level of success and some level of results. You're not going to find those sort of universal serendipitous chances that are going to just be thrown into your lap on your couch. You have to go out and put yourself in these positions. If you want to get lucky, you have to put yourself in positions to experience luck. And although this isn't something that's going to happen to everyone or something that's going to happen all of the time, I do think that is the lesson that the universe wanted me and wanted you, the viewer, to take home from this video. Now, obviously, because this is a 30-day challenge where every single day for 30 days, I need to get a successful approach. Since I technically failed the challenge, I needed to run it back and go out and get a proper approach. So I went out and did exactly that. Excuse me. Hi, what's your name? Benjamin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I thought you were cute. Oh, thank you. I appreciate this. What are you up to? Um, I'm just running. Going to my boss's house, actually. You look like you're dressed for work. Yeah, kind of. Oh, I just wore what I was wearing today. Yeah. Yeah, what were you doing? What do you do for work? Um, I do consulting, so I offer transactions. Nice. Yeah. You look very professional. Thank you. Together. Yeah, I cut my outfit on for tonight. No, it looks good. Yeah. You're rocking it. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. How tall are you? I can't tell if those um, are high heels. I'm or... sure. I'm like five, one, two, probably. It's a fun size, not short. Yeah, yeah. Fun size, <laughs> not, not short. I'll call it that. Yeah. yeah. I know you have to go. I have to run too, but it'd be cool to get your Instagram. Maybe you can touch. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Do you live around here? I'm here for the month. I'm looking to oh, get a cool. place from New York. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. I'm from New York, too. Really? I'm from work. Western New York, though. I'm from, like, New York City. Nice. I'm from, uh, like, uptown. I don't know if you know. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool. I'm, I'm actually, like, based out of New York City, so I'm there. Oh, really? A lot. Yeah. Nice. But I'm here a lot, too, because my boss is here, so, yeah. Nice weather, so not a bad deal. Yeah. No, definitely. Cool. It's Very nice to meet you. Cool. Nice to meet you, too. Bye-bye. You, too. 
So we didn't complete the challenge. I am in a bit of a rush to go home to do some coaching calls with my clients. So we didn't do it standing still, but we got the one I achieved from the girls who approached me, and I had to, of course, keep my word and get an approach. And so we went, we came out here, we got an approach. It wasn't standing still. If you want me to run standing still back, let me know in the comments. And if you want to know my three-step formula for being able to walk up to women, approach them, start conversations, and create genuine, authentic interactions, then check out the free video in the description showing you my three-step formula showing me exactly how it's done.